Hi guys, last week I filmed this car in the charity shop in one of my charity shop short videos where I show you things that caught my eye but I didn't buy. But afterwards I thought I could have bought it as a radio control conversion project. Because as it is, it does nothing. It's a Equestria Girls toy car. It's just a push along, it's got no motors, uh, no steering, and to convert it will be a little bit awkward, to be honest. For a start, to put steering on it is going to be a real problem. I've either got to have the wheels sticking out of it, so they're outside the bodywork, so they can turn, or I've got to severely cut the bodywork about. Back end, it does look like there's probably space to get a motor in there between the wheels. There's no axles going through, the wheels are just on little plastic lugs. Second problem is if we want to keep it looking as much like the original as possible, these wheels will be completely useless as far as grip goes because they're from hard plastic. So if I put any sort of power in there, they'll just spin. Although people like to see that, don't they? They like to see wheel spin and cars sliding around. So I could still do that, but it <laughs> it's not going to be a racing car. Um, let's have a look in, uh, inside. There's not much to see inside. But it does look like the blue section comes away from the white section. Oh, this one's made by Hasbro. Uh, so if you'll be able to see that. 2013 Hasbro. And there's a number on the back there. A eight zero six six four one four three one. Certainly, my original first thought when I looked at it was it wasn't worth the effort because of the fact I'm going to have to cut the body about to get the steering in there. Right, oh, don't lose that. Doesn't feel like it wants to come apart easily. I really don't want to damage anything. Right, so what have we got? Yeah, we should be able to get a motor in the back there okay. Axle, gearbox. But like I say, steering's going to be a problem. I wonder how the wheels come off. the central bit will come out without damaging it. The motif.
All right, so it's got metal pegs in there. Okay, we'll have to think about that. See how we're going to deal with it. probably got um, ribbing on it and it's been pushed into the plastic to hold it tight. Well that'll do for a beginning. That's shown us inside so we can see what we've got to play with. This is not going to be a quick project, it's going to take a bit of time. So that'll do for now.